all of these amazing features that I can just enable or disable and just tap on this button right here and Hey, what's up to all my viewers? I hope you're all doing well. And with this tutorial, I'll make you feel even more better if you are feeling good. If you're not feeling good, get ready because you're about to. Okay, so let me tell you what you're getting with this tutorial today. You'll be getting the latest and the only version, working version of the Pokemon Go spoofer that's working perfectly for both iOS and Android devices, guys. So if you were, searching on the internet trying to find a way how you can get the latest and the only working version of the pokemon go spoofer you're in the right spot and i'm about to show you how you can get it so as i said this is the only working version of the pokemon go spoofer so if you have any earlier versions of the pokemon go spoofer just go ahead and delete them and watch this video where i will show you how to get the latest version Okay, so let me first show you how the app actually looks. As you can see here, I have the fully working Pokemon Go spoofer on my mobile device. And as you can see here, I have the Pokemon Go spoofer, I have the Pokemon Go joystick, feed radar, nearby radar, anti-band, all of these amazing features that I can just enable or disable and just tap on this button right here. And as soon as I tap on that button, I can go back to my original app where I'll show you that I have all these amazing features that the Pokemon Go spoofer gave me for my iOS device. And it will do so on both iOS and Android devices. As you can see here, guys, I have the amazing features like the Pokemon Go joystick, Feeds Radar, Nearby Radar, Pokemon Go spoofer, all these amazing features that will allow me to play the game and have more fun. Okay, so let me show you how you actually get the Pokemon Go spoofer. The first thing I'll need you to do to start this tutorial, if you're an Android user, please make sure you switch off your battery saver mode. If you're an iOS user, let's head over to settings, then general, background app refresh, and switch it on for both Wi-Fi and mobile data. Now, once we're done with that, let's head over to our browser. You can use any browser you want, but I'll be using my Safari browser. So let me just open it. As you can see here, I opened the website called Tweak Elite. TweakElite.com is a website that's full of tweaked apps, plus plus apps, paid apps, and you can get them all for completely free without paying any money for it. So let me just search for the Go spoofer which I'm looking for. As you can see here, there are some older versions of the Ghost Spoofer, but we are looking for the Ghost Spoofer version 2.0. This is the latest and the only working version, as I said, of the Pokemon Ghost Spoofer that will work perfectly on all your iOS or Android devices. So let me just tap on it. And as you can see here, tons of people already downloaded this app. They all rated it with five stars. So let's just go ahead and tap on the download button. And when I tap on the download button, I want to tell you about the next step we need to take to download this app. It will be to verify our device version. If you're wondering why we need to do it, well, it is because they'll need to know the exact iOS or Android version you're using so they can prepare the best working version of this Pokemon Go spoofer for your iOS or Android device. Now, if you're wondering how you do it, well, as you can see here, we are redirected to another website and we are going to verify our device version on this website. How, you, how do we do it? Well, we need to download three apps from this huge list of apps and complete the steps listed below each app. It is not important which app you download. It is just important that you download three apps of your choosing and complete the steps listed below each app you download. For example, if you download Golf Rival, you'll just need to download and install the app, then run it for 30 seconds. Same goes for State of Survival. You'll just need to download and install the app, then run it for 30 seconds. For Match to Win Cash Giveaway, you need to install, open and complete level 23. For Blackout Bingo, bingo you need to install, open and win, win five games. So choose three apps that you want to download just 
download them, complete the steps listed below each app and you'll be good to go. So how do you do it? You just tap on the app you want to download, then you go tap to install. And after this, the website will redirect you to your official app store or Google Play store, depending on if you're using an iOS or Android device. Now, I have to mention that all of these apps you're downloading in the verification process are all from official publishers and they're completely free to download. So you have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and download three apps, complete the steps listed below each app and you'll be good to go. Now, once you're done uh, downloading three apps, just go ahead and restart your device. Once you're done restarting your device, you'll be able to see the Pokemon Go spoofer on your iOS or Android device and start enjoying it. But if by any chance you can't see the Pokemon Go spoofer on your mobile device, don't worry about it, guys. It happens sometimes. Maybe you did something wrong in the verification process or in you took the wrong step or you did something wrong. So just follow all all the steps again but in the verification process when you're doing it the next the second time you'll need to download three different apps than what you did the first time for example if in the first try you downloaded this one this one and this one just download this one this one and this one in the second try complete the steps listed below each app you're downloading for the second time make sure you do it in detail because this is a very important step restart your device and start enjoying the Pokemon Go spoofer on your iOS device, guys. Now, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it. Leave a comment down below if you had any problems with this app. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!